start with your hands back a little farther. Good. Now, when you press, press gently. Push gently because you're going to feel that in your pectoral muscles. After all those hours of uh, physical therapy, I ought to be able to go uh, back to work on the docks. Oh, honey. Where did he get you? Back. OK, champ, I told you to take it easy. Damn thing needs new shocks. No nonsense, my friend. This machine is in mint condition. The former owner, a retired school teacher from Westchester County, only drove it to funerals, etc., etc. Yes, try it again. Oh, Clem, are you sure? Come on, Jack, once again. Easy now. Good, that's much better. Now, you listen to me and you pay attention to what I'm telling you. Easy is the key to the whole thing. You go over to Ryan's, you try to do too much too fast, and you're going to get yourself a permanently damaged heart or a back that's going to be trouble for years. On the other hand, give yourself three months of rest and quiet, and you're going to be just fine. It's up to you. Yeah. It's all right, Clem. He'll behave himself. So, look, if uh, Clem's going to go across the street with you, darling, I'm going to go down and see uh, our friends in the office about getting out of here. Huh? I think that's a good idea. I'll see you at home. Oh, honey, don't look like that. It's going to be all right. If I say anything, you hear one word of complaint? Your face. I didn't know we were in a poker game. But I don't want you to be miserable and sad about going home. I want you to be as grateful and happy as I am. Look, I'd be happy to oblige you, Mayor, but the thought of Johnny Orion keeping an eye on me from one direction and little John ready to pounce on me from the other doesn't leave me exactly uh, wreathed in smiles. Dal's trying as hard as he can. And little John's grown up a lot since he came to visit. It's all going to be much better than you think. <sighs> Maeve! Oh, what's wrong with this? I can't get it down. Maeve! Oh, honey, what's the matter with you? Oh, baby, please don't be sick. Please. Here I am. Did you have a good time at the park? Hmm? No, it was too cold and there was nobody there. Maybe I think he's coming down with something. Oh, no. You don't mean that. Yeah, I do. He's been very quiet since lunch. Would you feel him? I don't know. I think he feels a little warm. Well, I can't tell. He's just been in the cold. Give me a hand. Oh, his hands are like ice. No, yeah, well, he won't wear his mittens. Delia. Maeve, he won't. You mean you had this child out in this cold wind without gloves on his hands? Maeve, it doesn't do any good. I put mittens on him, and then the minute my back is turning, he takes them off, and then I spend the rest of the day looking in the playground for oh, them. Oh, dearie, you put the mittens on a tape, and then you run the tape through the sleeves of his jacket, and then you get a nice stout hat and keep him warm. For goodness sakes, he's bone cold. Well, good luck. Who is the parent here, you or this child? Come on, now. Oh, he's so cold. Hey, why don't you put him in a hot tub, and I'll... I'll make him some hot chocolate. I see. You know, you just couldn't start way to tell me how to bring up my baby, huh? Uh, that is not so, Delia. I did not ask the court to give your son in custody to John and I. I mean, come on now, girl. I'm not trying to tell you how to raise your son, but Mary's going to be walking in here any minute with Jack, and the last thing we need is a sick baby. Now, please, behave yourself and get him into a bathtub. Finally here. Who are you? I'm Todd Manning. This week. You took my family, you took my identity, you took my life. You're a fake. And you are a freak. Two Todds face off. Go ahead and shoot me. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. 
who's coming and who's going. SoapNet has a status update on your favorite stars. On General Hospital, Ingle Rademacher and Vanessa Marcel Giovinazzo say so long to poor Charles. Wow. And Constance Towers is back as troublemaker Helena. It's true. On One Life to Live, Tony Award-winning actress LaShawn's debuts as Yvette, while Tuck Watkins returns as David Vickers. What do you think about that? And on All My Children, Greenlee. Josh Duhamel, Eva LaRue, and Torsten Kay take one more trip to Pine Valley. I'm here to stay. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet and ABC.com. Want to mix whites and colors in one load? With Shout Color Catcher, now you can. Shout Color Catcher absorbs the colors that run. The proof is on the sheet. Shout Color Catcher, fewer washes, fewer worries. SC Johnson, a family company. Every time I sneeze, I laugh, I jump, water. And my sister said, have you ever heard of boys? I said, boys, what the heck is boys? She said, one in three women have this issue. Every great woman deserves a great pad. Stay comfortably dry with boys. Going up, but those roots are bringing you down. No time, running to a meeting. <laughs> they can wait 10 minutes. Whoa. <laughs> Try Root Touch Up by Nice and Easy to extend the life of your color. What if it doesn't match? Uh-uh-uh. Nice and Easy has 50% more shades than anyone else. So you can find your seamless match. Guaranteed. Now go meet and greet, because your roots are obsolete. More shades, seamless matches with Root Touch Up by Nice and Easy. We get cats. They're smart. They can outsmart their humans and their canines. That's why they deserve the smartest choice in litter. So we make Fresh Step scoopable litter with carbon, which is more effective at absorbing odors than baking soda. Fresh Step. Your cat deserves the best. And for the strongest odors, look for Fresh Step Extreme Odor Control Litter. What's the difference between eHarmony and dating sites? eHarmony puts you together based on your personality, and it just makes you feel confident that it's going to work. And it did work. <laughs> Visit eHarmony today and review your compatible matches free. We set our goals higher than anyone. Purdue is the first and the only chicken company to have USDA process verified programs for fresh, all natural chicken. We never have used steroids or hormones of any type, and always raised cage free. We're trying to make a better chicken. down for a nap. Okay, well now he's settled in bed and he's got his teddy bear and he's got his football and he's got his warm pajamas on with the feet. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't sound very settled down to me. Maybe I should call a doctor. I'll call Pat. No, you'll do no such thing. May I remind you that Patrick is in residence in neurology and not in pediatrics. He's got more than enough work of his own over there. Well, Mr. Everdell, uh... Dr. Everdell will make a house call unless it's an emergency. So would you like me to take little John now? Should I do that? No, I do not. Well, then what should I do? Well, if you really feel that he must have a doctor, you could always call Faith. She's a pediatrician. Faith is about the last person that I would call. Oh. You know, Maeve, I don't think you're taking this seriously at all. Well, to tell the truth, dear, I think you're overreacting just a bit. Some aspirin and some juice and cambric tea, and we'll see how he is a little later. Wait a minute. Weren't you the one who had a fit because I didn't put mittens on him? Yes, and that's not going to happen again. Just run these mittens through the sleeve of his jacket and leave them in the jacket. And that way there'll be no chance of his losing them. Well, I'm very sorry for being so silly. I'm also sorry because I'm not a perfect mother. I'm not a perfect mother of five perfect children. Then I would know everything, wouldn't I? Delia, for heaven's sake, two seconds ago you asked me what to do and I told you liquids and I told you aspirin. Now, I'm not trying to find fault with you, girl, nor am I trying to take your child away from you. If you're gonna have a nervous breakdown every time we make some small decision about little John, we're all in for a lot of trouble around here. I... Oh. <laughs> would you believe it? I didn't even hear you come in. Welcome home, Jack. Clem, it's good to see you. Yes, I thought I'd help him get installed. <laughs> uh, Clem, I know you're a neurologist, but you do know about babies, don't you? Oh, hi, yes, Jack. Yes, uh, somewhat. Hmm. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. Do you think that you could come in with me and take a look, little look at uh, little John? See, he's not feeling very well, and I'd like to take him to the doctor, but Maeve doesn't think I should. She uh, believes in giving him home remedies. I don't think that's any good for my child. Well, Maeve probably knows a lot more about practical pediatrics than I do, but I'd be glad to take a look at him. <laughs> Thank you, Clem. Yeah. I would appreciate it. I think Delia would feel a lot better about it. Yes, I would. Okay, oh, he's in his crib. I, uh, I want to go back to the hospital. Oh. Poor Jack. 
I give you my word, this will not go on long. Mother, what is she doing? Oh, I just think she's reacting to the court decision, that's all. Well, I don't know what to make of it. Of what? It's paid. Jack's hospital bill paid in full. You kidding? No. Oh. $19,672.03 is the receipt. Who paid it? Bucky. Or Seneca, or both. Oh, the hospital has to know. Well, if they do, they're not saying. I mean, I asked the girl in the treasurer's office, and then she was just as surprised as I was, so I asked to see her boss. And her boss, this lady, says, well, all she knows is that the, the bill was paid by, uh, by a cashier's check this morning, the whole amount, right there. I can't get over it. I know, it's Bucky. Yes, it'd be just like him to do something like this. I don't like being under $20,000 obligation, uh, whoever it is, but I can't help but feeling grateful. Well, we'll pay him back. Well, uh, Bucky or Seneca or whoever is going to make it mighty tough for you. How? Well, Jack, how are you going to pay him back if he won't admit you owe it to him in the first place? What's the matter with little John? I think he seems to be coming down to something. Oh, I knew it. I really knew it. Clem says that his throat is bad, his tonsils don't look very good, and he's running a low fever. Now, if he gets any worse, he should see a doctor. Fine, that's just what we will do. Mary? Oh, honey, I think you've been up long enough. Excuse me, Dee. Clem, will you give me a hand? <laughs> With pleasure. There's uh, no need for alarm. If he's still not better by tomorrow, I'd get a pediatrician. All right, we'll do that, Clem. Thanks so much. You. All right, champ, it's time for you to see how you're matriculating this machine. Mary? Ah, I'll be right there, honey. Second door on the right. All right. Celia, will you please, please do something about that? Mary, what am I supposed to do? Little John is sick. So is Jack, and we promised him rest and quiet. Now, come on, oh. please. Let me see what I can do about him. Well, Jack could have been right. What? This whole thing may have been a big mistake. won't be as good as sleeping in the same bed, but at least you won't be across the street with me here. Yeah. Is that bothering you, honey? Should I close the door? No, no, no. I kind of like it. I can't make out the words. For my handsome winsome Johnny. That was one of Frank's favorites. You know, when I was little and sick, I honestly, honestly believed that if Mother sang to me, I'd get better. She'll sing Eileen Arood next, and then Men of the West. Listen. I guess she's asleep. Well, that's a step in the right direction. Jack? Oh, I'm sorry. That is not the kind of reception we planned for you. But he went off now, and he should be down oh, for an hour or two anyway. Oh, it's OK. I, uh, I like the singing. Oh, dear. Could you hear the singing down the hall? I'm afraid in this room you're going to hear just about everything that takes place in this apartment. Of course, we'll try to keep it as quiet as we can. Darling, I think you're going to need a blanket on that cot. Yeah. Well, there's one in my chest, uh, bottom drawer. Right. Now. It's going to be a while before dinner, so can I uh, interest you in a turkey sandwich? No, thanks. Tea? Cookies? A bit of cake? Um, I'm, uh, I'm not hungry, thanks. Maeve, I, uh, I shouldn't be here. What? What makes you think so? By nature and, uh, and by choice, I'm not a joiner. I'm, I'm not a cooperator. I, uh, I like to do things the way I want to do it and in my own way. And uh, I, I don't think I can change, not even temporarily. And anyone around here is telling you you should change? Well, I'm afraid I'll be a lot of trouble for you if I don't, and I, uh, I don't think I can. All right. Two things about that. First, I don't think you're afraid that you can't change enough to get along perfectly reasonably for a month or two with a family that only has your best interests at heart. I think what frightens you is 
the idea of the family itself. You might just get to like us, hmm? And then where would you be? And secondly, what you do or what you don't do is really not gonna make much difference around here. It isn't? No, I'm afraid not. We care about you, Jack. We love you. But the truth is, there is so much going on in this house, so much more than usual with the holidays coming up and running a business. And remember, you're only one of six people that live in this house, with Pat and Frank running and out all the time on top of that. So I just don't want you to feel that you're gonna be the center of our universe because you're just not. Well, that's, uh, that's a load off my mind. Well, that's just what it was meant to be. All we're gonna be asking of you is for you to get well as fast as you can, for Mary's sake and as well as your own. And beyond that, we expect you to pull your own weight within limits, with the full thought that we're all here to give you a hand if you need it. You ever think of becoming a nun? Oh, <laughs> well, the thought did cross my mind about 12, but uh, the minute I realized that they wouldn't let me start off as the mother superior, I gave up the whole idea. Nobody's talked to me like that since I left the orphanage. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to put a, a bit of perspective into the picture. I see. I hope you do. I hope you know that I'm your friend and that I've been looking forward to you staying here because I think it's going to give us a chance to finally get to know one another at last if that's what you want. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. Good. I'm gonna propose to Sam, and I have to make sure I do it the right way. This week. What are you up to? I think Sam's gonna love this. Be there for the proposal. I would be honored to spend the rest of my life with you. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. To prevent toilet rings from building up, you'd have to clean your toilet every time you flush. That's over 3,600 times a year. Who would do that? It's Scrubbing Bubbles Toilet Cleaning Gel. Just stamp it in. Its formula is flush activated to prevent buildup of lime scale and hard water that cause toilet rings. And it keeps working flush after flush. Scrubbing Bubbles Toilet Cleaning Gel. The freshest way to keep a toilet clean. Flush after flush. S.C. Johnson, a family company. It's water from the drinking fountain at the mall. Isn't it great? Thank you. Bye! Great tasting tap water can now come from any faucet anywhere. Introducing the Brita bottle with a filter inside. This summer, the party's on SoapNet. We have a party to rock. Never take over my life. Nothing is going to change how I feel about you. I love Ken Die, baby. Oh, it is so on. What? Shut up! And you won't believe who's coming. You're back. This is one summer shindig you don't want to miss. I am ready to have the summer of my life. Only on SoapNet. Down. Like Seneca can take his carton of vitamins and do something interesting with them. <laughs> This is the real stuff. Smells better than vitamins. Oh, uh -huh. you kidding? Clover blossom honey, whole grain bread, creamy smooth, freshly ground mm. peanut butter, and a little banana, <laughs> and bacon bits for texture. Listen, did you know that peanuts are full of protein and B vitamins? Is that a political statement? Get serious. Oh. I'm worried about your eating habits. This is a whole meal in itself. Well, that's the idea. Expectant mothers mm -hmm. should never skip lunch. Where do you see what you're getting for supper? Mm. I'll get it. Mm. This is delicious. You've forgotten, haven't you? What? Peanut butter and bacon sandwiches during the first campaign. I love peanut butter and bacon sandwiches. Oh. What are you doing here? A late lunch. <laughs> but I do have a me committing meeting, though. Uh, can you keep her company for a while? Yeah. I just went off duty. How is she today? She's fine. She'll tell you all about it herself. If you're lucky, she may even offer you a sandwich. Mm, she will. Mm, 
I would. Uh, I'll fix some toast. Hi. Hello. You haven't told them. I couldn't. Oh, Faith, I came home yesterday and there were flowers and champagne and a ring. Oh, Jill. But more important than that, he was so happy. And so was I. I mean, for the first time, really, the first time in our lives, we were together, we were loving each other, we were close and safe, and there was no reason in the world why he had to leave. I mean, Delia wasn't waiting for him at home, the office wasn't expecting him, and it didn't matter if everybody in the world knew we were together. <laughs> and I couldn't spoil that for him. I couldn't spoil it for myself. I understand. Believe me, I do. It's just... But Faith, <laughs> I know that I have to tell him it's Seneca's baby, and I will. I just want a little while longer. I mean, it's all so lovely, and I can't believe that's wrong after all this time. <laughs> no. He's gonna be so hurt when he finds out. Well, if you're right about that, you know that the longer you wait, the worse the hurt'll be. Just a day or two more. Jill, please understand. I think you two are entitled to days without end. I mean that. I know it's important that you tell Frank carefully and lovingly. That's why I told you I thought you should wait until you got out of the hospital and settled in here. But, but don't put it off too long, Jill. It'll only be that much more painful. I know. Now, <laughs> would you rather make your own, or shall I construct one for you? Oh, you do it, please. Oh, good answer. Okay, kids, scoot over. Mm -mm. No, I like it like this. <laughs> okay. I must admit, I'm envious of you two. Curled up on a couch, quiet, cold afternoon. It's a nice way to have lunch. You know, in spite of everything, or maybe because of it, these past 24 hours have been the best time we've ever had. We're together. We love each other, and we love the baby. And nothing's going to change it or hurt us. And nothing's going to separate us again. Am I right? Oh, Frank. Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children, only on SoapNet. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. At the table. Get ready for the chew. <laughs> a new talk show where everyone brings something to the table. To make a creamy soup without the cream, use tofu. For fresh ingredients, nothing beats local. This local enough for you? <laughs> Treat yourself to something delicious. If you love beef, try pastrami instead of bacon on your burger. Make every recipe your very own. Join the chew. Weekdays. Coming Monday, September 26th. Only on ABC. There's nothing we won't do for our health or our skin. Now there's another way to support skin from within. Introducing One A Day Women's Plus Healthy Skin Support, a complete multivitamin plus lutein and other antioxidants to help support skin moisture, elasticity, and smoothness. New from One A Day. When you use Cottonelle Fresh Flushable Moist Wipes every day, you get so hooked on feeling fresh, you'll want to pass it on to a friend. Visit GetFreshWithAFriend.com. Tell a friend about Fresh, and you'll both get a Cottonelle Fresh reward. So Fresh is always at your fingertips. So go on, get Fresh with a friend. I found out the hard way. All washes do not take care of feminine odor. Introducing Vagisil Wash with Odor Block. It doesn't cover up odor, it keeps it from happening. When you feel fresh, you feel confident. New Vagisil Wash, the confident clean. I don't want you. I want Bianca. Truth. I wanted to get back at you. Who was it? JR. Twists. Would you do me the honor? Marry me? And mind blowing turns. It could have been so different for us. An unbelievable week on All My Children. Weekdays on ABC. And weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. The moment is finally here. Who are you? I'm Todd Manning. This week. You took my family, you took my identity, you took my life. You're a fake. And you are a freak. Two Todds face off. Go ahead and shoot me. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. 
People are talking about General Hospital's Laura Wright and her recent Emmy win. Octavia Evans posted on Facebook, congrats, it is well deserved. Michelle Taylor adds, I love Carly on the show. She makes every episode eventful. And Kim Lally agrees, she's a terrific actress. People are talking about General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. Don't tell me. It only hurts when you laugh. Something like that. Your back? Uh-uh. Actually, my chest muscles around the, uh, the incision. Mm, it's from using the wheelchair. Maybe. You want a painkiller? Mm-mm. Honey, -mm. why not? Because I don't want to go away from you. Not in any way. You know, it's, uh, it's nice when little John's asleep. Sweetheart, it really is going to be all right. You think he's old enough for uh, gainful employment? Oh, yes. <laughs> just, just a little job, keep him out of the house for maybe uh, 18 hours, huh? <laughs> maybe Jumbo can fix him up with something on the dock, hmm? Hey, little John, let me see what you can do with a hook. <laughs> Ooh, it does hurt to laugh, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know it's too good to be true. Well, where's Delia? Little John, what's the matter? There, she's going into him. He'll quiet down now. Want a bit? Oh, dear Lord, she's got him out in the hall. Jack, put a pillow over your head. Come on, miss something? He's burning up. When did he have his last aspirin? Um, an hour ago. I think we should put him in the cold tub. A cold tub? You're going to give him pneumonia. Oh, Dee, it's the best and quickest way to bring down a fever. That's awful. You can't do that to my baby. I won't let you do Look, that. there's nothing we haven't done to each of our own, and they survive. Yes, we have. No! Stop the nonsense and give me that baby now. I don't care what the court says. She is not my son's mother, and she has no right to do that, Johnny. Will you calm down, Delia? Maid knows what she's doing. Yeah, you'll be sorry when he comes down with pneumonia. I'm sorry. Well, as long as uh, somebody paid the bill, I should go back to the hospital. Jack, don't. Give us a chance, honey. Give me those pills, will you? Sure. Do you want some water? Uh-uh. Is it safe to take two? Mm. Safer to be staying awake, believe me. In Landview, rules were meant to be broken, and its residents will stop at nothing to get their way. Catch all the Landview shenanigans on an all-new episode of One Life to Live, weeknights at 9 on SoapNet.